figured that was going to be a popular question. No, um, you know, we were talking about for the game. You know, Lance Stevenson, I think, started that a while back. And nobody had done it on the team. We were talking about doing it, you know, like first three hit someone, you know, hit the air guitar, but no one did it. So I was like, perfect timing. You know, I get the last three in, so why not? When did you realize that uh, the ESPN cameras caught it? Or um, I didn't know. I figured they would. There's so many cameras and so many people watching. Um, after the game, I had seen a, a video. It's all over Twitter. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny, though. What was that game like for you? I mean, especially given everything you've gone through to have a big game like that. It was good. It felt uh, relieving. Um, like I said, uh, my teammates, man, they get the – my coaches, they get the most credit. Uh, I mean, the threes were most of the time wide open, so it was created by my teammates. So they were just finding me. It's a matter of if I can make an open three or not. Do you feel at all like because you didn't play a lot last year, maybe there's not – I mean, people know who you are, but, you know, maybe there's some – they take – they think less of you. I don't know. You know what I mean? They don't overlook you maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe a little bit, you know – being here seems like 20 years now, no, but yeah, being here uh, three years prior to last year, um, I think I made a little bit, people found out, you know, I could shoot the ball and, you know, they tried to game plan around that and make me drop the ball and stuff like that. But I think people, uh, the more scouting, everyone does intense scouting in the league, so they're seeing more of the tendencies I do. You seem like you've been doing a lot more like the pump fake from deep to, mm -hmm. to get to the way, is that just what you're seeing defensively? Yeah, it's defense, a lot of defensively stuff, like, a lot of the time you tell people to run shooters off the line. So I've been seeing that a lot lately. They had a couple hard closeouts. And anytime you do that, you want to get in and make a numbers game where we're playing four on three and stuff like that. So you want to make the right pass. And basically, that's just a read you do. What did you all learn from winning on the road that you can maybe carry over? I mean, you got another tough road to test tomorrow. Yeah, I think it builds some confidence. Um, you know, the last road game, I believe, was Auburn. We didn't turn out the way we liked. So, you know, we bounced back with Georgia, and then we came right back. And we played well. I thought we uh, battled through some adversity. They cut it with five, I think, with three minutes to play. So uh, I think we came out and we bounced back. And, you know, we've been in a lot of tight games this year. About every game's been tight. So we know it's going to be no different on Tuesday night. So we're going to come out ready to play. What, what did you learn from your first meeting against State here? Uh, they rebound the wall really, really well. Um, that's an area that we got to improve. We want to have a chance to uh, win tomorrow night. Um, most of the time when we out rebound our opponents, we have a good chance of winning. Um, also, transition defense. They got a lot of explosive guards. I know that Perry, big kid they got, he's been coming on late. So we're going to have to, you know, stop the ball in transition and find the shooters. You talked about being here for 20 years. How often do you hear that from, from teammates, from, from friends, family? Uh, it's a joke, yeah. I hear a lot, of, a lot around the locker room, the old man, you know, always getting treatment and stuff. But you got to keep your body in shape, especially when you're old. Because <laughs> you're, I mean, you actually outdate the staff here. <laughs> I'm close, I'm close. I know Petway's been here a little bit longer than me. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I have, I have been here around. But yeah, it's, it's good, it's all jokes, and you know, I, I have fun with it. You can have your doctorate by the end of this year. Close to it, close to it. It feels like I've been in school way too long. I'm ready to get out. <laughs> Expect Riley to do it for a lot of people, but when he did it, like it was a surprise. I didn't, I didn't know he did it until I saw the video on Twitter. Why did you expect Riley to do it? Was a surprise? I don't know. I just feel like Riley's not that type of guy to do it. What's it been like to see him back be a part of this team, especially after he had injury issues the last year or so? Uh, Riley's one of the seniors on the team, uh, and he helps. He helps uh, a lot. Helps out a lot. Uh, he's play, he plays hard. Uh, he's not down to three. He, uh, it just means a lot that he's back and that he's back to himself. How old do you think he is? <laughs> so, uh, about 25. <laughs> you guys, he said you guys sometimes give him hell for, for being old. Yeah, it's probably it's mainly me and AJ. AJ's he's not a young guy either. He's been around too. I'm telling you. <laughs> AJ about 20, 24. You ever realize that, you know, um, as long as Avery and, and y'all have been here, Riley was here one more year, he would be four, but he predates Avery. That's that the whole staff, really. He was, oh, oh man, that man, he's old, man. <laughs> what, what does this team have to do to kind of carry over, you know, create some consistency and, and carry this win forward, especially on the road? Uh, focus. 
focus. Uh, we just need to focus, lock in, and practice. And I feel like when we come in and we focus and practice, then it carries over to the game. And when we carry that over to the game, we've been having success. You've been in this situation before where, you know, you guys are trying to get into the tournament, obviously. Do you do much scoreboard watching or, you know, kind of looking where the team is at? Uh, honestly, I don't. Uh, we just want to take each game one by one and not even really focus on the tournament. Right why, now. why is that, though? Uh, because I feel like that's not important right now. The next SEC game is. What did you see in Mississippi State that you can use this game? Like through your last matchup against them? Uh, I feel like for us, uh, we got to stop the ball in transition. Uh, they got a lot of transition points on us. I think they had like 22. So uh, we just got to really get back and, and focus on transition defense too. Time for one more question. Is it easier or tougher playing the team the second time? Uh, it's probably tougher because we both know what each other do. So. Uh, like I said, we just got to focus and be ready to play defense. Thank you.